talking. I'm talking. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you a preview of some of the lessons that I'm going to be putting on both my uh, Udemy and Skillshare courses. And if you want to know more about those, just click below to the link and uh, you can get more information there. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this if you like it. So this is going to be an introduction to 2-2 two -two time and syncopation and also about tide notes and how those are all used in The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. Take a look. To read music, you need to know not only the pitch of the notes, but also the timing or the meter of the music. Let's look at three important concepts related to meter that we can learn from The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. The first thing is cut time signature or 2-2 two -two time. The second is syncopated notes and accents. And the third thing is tied notes. Then let's take a look now at the time signature. The time signature in this case being 2-2 two -two time, which is also called cut common time or cut time, is uh, shown with a C with a line through it. Now the letter C without the line means common time. And that's also known as 4-4 time, which is the most common time signature. Now mathematically, 2-2 two -two is the same as 4-4 four -four, in that each bar contains a whole note or four quarter notes. So the 2-2 two -two is different from 4-4 four -four in the feeling of it. Now you might think that because entertainers in 2-2 two -two time, that uh, the tempo is going to be different from if it were in 4-4 four -four time, but that's not necessarily the case. 2-2 uh, two -two actually means more than that. It's, it's more of an emphasis on the one and the two. So just for example, if I'm going to count this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then the way that we think about that is a little bit different from if, you, if you're going one, two, one, two. And the way that you can show that in Entertainer is you can emphasize the one and the two. Whereas if it's 4-4, four, four, you might think that they're kind of equal, perhaps with, a, with, an, uh, with an accent on the first beat. In 4-4, four, four, I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now I'm going to emphasize the one and the two as if it were one, two, one, two, like that. So the way we can play that in 2-2 two, two is... trying to give more weight to the one and the two. It's a subtle thing and something that you want to be aware of and try and feel when you're playing it. Now that we've established the time signature, let's look at the syncopation that's going on in The Entertainer. Syncopation is where accents are put on weak beats rather than strong beats. Let me show you now what happens when I count along to the melody. So one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. So on the uh, before the one, you get that note played, which, which actually sustains into the next measure. So the next part goes like this. One E and a, two E and a, one E and a. That's before the two. Let me see if I can count now a little bit through that. Take a deep breath and, and see if you can catch how many times there is syncopation here. One E and a, two E and a, 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 one E and a, two. You get it? Tide notes. Now, tide notes are two or more notes joined together with ties. They're also used to join notes that are held across bar lines, and we find ties throughout the entertainer. So in the following videos, we'll take our time to go through reading and playing this so that we get used to playing the syncopated rhythm of entertainer. All right, hopefully you found it interesting. Don't forget to like if you like this, and hit the subscribe if you want to hear more from me. And as I always like to say, stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.